Okay, so I went back to my uh, backups. Plug in the phone on the USB cable, and I found my open camera backup. Did a search, did a search in Crusader in my backups, and uh, found it. Then I copied it over. I don't have it hooked up right now, so I can't show it. But I hooked up my uh, phone via USB, and then copied it over to the toolbox. Well, I, here's the fo same folder. Uh, it's called. Um, all in one toolbox and it has a folder called toolbox backup where it you can back I think it's not automatic I think you have to tell it to do it but so I backed everything up and then uh, every so often and then I copied over to my machines or you know then I can delete and then usually I'll end up deleting it out of here because uh, to get space back on the phone because this is on the uh, the uh, built-in SD section built-in portion of the memory of not <coughs> I don't like calling it memory because memory is RAM to me of the um, disk the built-in disk the SD flash memory flash memory is what it really is so memory is uh, why people call it memory <coughs> it just always threw me off when they started calling things uh, disks memory so um Anyway, that's 488 megabytes, so you know that's, uh, and there's only 630 something megabyte left on this phone right now, because even when you install all your apps and move and move them to, I use all in one toolbox to move them to uh, the SD card. Uh, it still leaves a lot of stuff. You know, there's some things that stays on the resident memory, resident flash, and. Uh, so it uh, fills it up pretty. One time I filled it up completely, installing some stuff, and that's when I realized, oh, there's a bunch of junk that's still on your your built-in memory. I guess I'll call it memory. That's what I'm, that's what my brain's doing this morning. My other phone, uh, I didn't put near as many apps on it. I didn't experiment with it. I already I experimented on this one, and then. Uh, just set that one up with the ones I really wanted on it, and I, and it it stopped. I left it at 830 or 50 megabytes free space. And uh, I got I keep I started thinking uh, on that uh, line there. Uh, got to thinking, you know, when you're making videos, you're using a lot of, uh, you know, they're big, and you may I, if there's going to uh, probably um, a bunch of it going into cache before it's actually saved. Uh, um, can't say the right words transformed into the mp4 video see that's one the cool thing about open cameras it'll you can set it you can pick some different video formats so um, it will I think it uses ffmpeg the same one that most Linux systems use to transcode that's the word to transcode it into mp4 so I imagine they're saving in cache as probably a raw video or something not could be the old OG what is it Whatever format phones usually use, I forgot the letters. Um, so I just got thinking, you know, maybe the camera, since this one has a little bit less, just under, just a couple hundred megabytes less memory, maybe it's just enough to cause it to. Because what it'll do is it'll start. You can notice the in the menu, it takes a long time to stop when you stop it, and it's slowing down, like you know, like something that's running out of memory. So uh, everything you do, it takes a long time, and then the next thing you know, it's uh, w well, like the last time, I, w I just got tired. Of, I thought, well, I'll fix it. I'll reboot the phone. When I did that, it just actually broke the app. The app was broken after I rebooted. So it must have been in the process of maybe it was in the process of transcoding that video when I did that, and it interrupted it and broke the application. So, and I haven't. Uh, every time it's broken, I don't believe I rebooted the phone. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Maybe one other time. This is the fourth time or so that open camera's broken on this phone, and it's never given a hint of trouble on the other phone. So I'm thinking, you know, it's not the application; it's probably something to do with this phone or some. So maybe it's running out of cache memory space for cache memory while for transcoding. So um, we'll just see. I'm going to go ahead and clean out that 400 megabytes here in a minute see how it goes and I'll probably take off that other
camera app because uh, evidently it's uh, it has a different name and it even says it's a different person that made it but HD camera pro is uh, it shows up to be just an earlier version of open camera and since it is an open camera application maybe somebody did that maybe they just took it and named it you know what they wanted to name it and uh, doesn't have as many features. Of course, it's an older version. It could be the exact same thing with just a different. Uh, it's the same user interface, as a matter of fact, when I got into the settings. So it could be the same thing with just a different, uh, different name on it. So let's see what happens. If so far, my video isn't working. I did forget to change all my focus settings and all that. I just went there and set my bit rates and all that the way I like it. 10 megabits per second and 30 frames per second and the highest resolution the phone will do so let's get out of here and uh, we'll see what goes on after that